Namaste programs and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator Leg 12 of the Patagonia Bush Trip. Another short one. Let's get it done. Off we go. We're starting off heading 356. If the plane will let me stay straight. It doesn't want to. For some reason the purple line saying 008. Well, I'm going to go 356. Because that's what it's telling me to do for 5 minutes 35. Start our clock. And we're going to the Rio Maya Merge. Head northeast from the airport. You should soon cross paths with the river running in the same direction. Rio Maya. Follow this river. It should soon meander its way past a merging river. Continue north. Alright, there's the river there. I see it. I will follow the river. wonder why on earth the purple line isn't at all what the instructions are saying. Get our flaps up. So, where does this river go? It heads out over there. So I guess I'll sort of split the difference between where the river goes between where the heading is, 356, and where the purple line wants to go. So that's basically the river, I think. How bizarre. All right, I think we've got enough height. We can trim down, lose a bit of power. how our usual minus 20% works. Once we're back up at speed, let's do a bit fast. A bit too much revs going on. That down there? Looks like something that cast a shadow. Oh, it's just a little lake, is it? I thought it might have been like a a church or something. Oh, look, there's a road down here. Hello, little road. All right, well, I'm following the river. Actually, following the river isn't even the right bloody... The river's further to the right. I guess I'll just follow the purple line then. Wow, look at that shelf there. In a, a credible, as I say every single time. Magnificent, extraordinary. There we go. We'll add some. Uh, we'll add some more uh, adjectives to our uh, repertoire. Cool. Cool. Meanwhile, the river's still below us. We're still trying to follow it. Another little lake on the top of this hill. Another bigger lake over there, a tiny little pond. All right, so we've got a, a pond, we've got a, a puddle, and a lake. That's their names from now on. Oh, you're a cute little river. But where do you go? And where are you? You're meandering its way past a merging river. In about a minute and a half, we should be running into that particular description. Again, we're well over. None of this makes sense. If I follow. If I were to be following 356 right now, I'd be heading over there somewhere. I wouldn't be following this river. And even following the purple line here, I'm left of the river.
It's all terribly confusing. Still, it is what it is. We shall deal with it. Ah, uh, look, we've changed. All right, well, I've mean, got 001, but Purple Line wants 00. Certainly wasn't anywhere near five and a half minutes, but we'll do what uh, the Purple Line wants. Rio Mayo Fork. The river will continue north and eventually fork at the foot of a tree-covered mountain. I guess that's what we just did. Follow the eastern branch of the river at the fork. Oh no, I see. So that we're, we're heading to the fork. This is just where the two rivers have merged, I guess. Although, I guess that was a river. Questions I don't have answers to. And 2 minutes 30, I guess the tree-covered mountain is the one in front of us. And then we'll be heading east. Okay. Well, I'm just going to head over there and follow the instructions rather than the purple line. I think the fork must be just above, right in front of me now. We shall see. Where are you, Hawk? I think you'll be here somewhere. I don't see you. Yes, there is a fork here. Looks to me like the river's heading that way and also heading this way. So here's the fork. Absolutely nowhere near where the purple line or the headings told us to go. But I'm going to go with the instructions because why the F not? And once we're over this fork, I'm going to turn. All right, the purple line wanted me to turn anyway, so... 62 degrees for 2 minutes 24, although yet again the purple line is not in agreement. Reset our clock. We're heading to the Rio Maya Bridge. Follow the river northeast through the hills and out onto a plane. At the end of the plane, again, are they spelling plane P A L P L A N E? I mean, I'm pretty sure a plane is P L A I N. I might be wrong about that. And foot of the mountain ahead. You should see a road bridge. The river. Follow the road. Okay. Will do. Wow, look at these little grassy fields here. They don't look natural, do they? Mm, there is a road here and it's like a... What's going on there? A football field or something. It looks a little bit human... Uh, Human altered, if you ask me. Look at that. Yeah, a couple of buildings. A little round thing at the end. It's probably like a gas container or a water water container. And then a little... Maybe it's like an archery or a golfing range. Interesting. Alright, as we head along, we're looking for a bridge. The Bridge of Insanity. Where are you going, little road? Where have you come from? And where is this bridge? Another 30 seconds or so before the bridge, I would think.
the end of the plane. Was it you calling this a plane? A valley, more like it. Will we see a bridge here? Foot of the mountain, you should see a road bridge the river. Follow the road. There it is. There's the bridge. Okay, now we're following L Road. 005 for 1 minute 33. And I told you it was a short one because we are already on the last segment. Aerodromo Entrada Maya. The road will wind its way through the forest brush and back across the river eventually leading to a runway you can land at. Marvellous! Where is it? Can we see it? Yeah, that must be it already. S-C-E-Y is correct, yes. And I can see it on the, yep, on the topographical map, the topographical map, however you want to say that. The topographical map. And there it is there. Let's uh, head out over here. Let's blow her down. Look at this floodplain. Spectacular. Get our flaps down when we can. There we go. Let's just do all of them. See where we are. Okay, we can probably start heading perpendicular now. Oh, the approach and landing will take longer than the actual trip. Which I appreciate, given those huge long ones we had earlier in the trip. A bit of a power. We're running out of airspeed. Don't necessarily want to stall and flip into this floodplain. That is a short runway. I think we can start sort of gradually heading over there. Get our uh, ducks in a row before we shoot them. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. I think we're pretty good. Just sort of float on in here now. Try not to hit the trees. Get our flare on, get our rudder going. And get our back wheel down, which will happen eventually. I think it is down. Plane wants to go off to the right constantly, but we'll put on the brakes and say that was leg 12 completed of the Patagonia bush trip. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you join me for the next one. Thank you for watching. Au revoir. Goodbye.